All right. So we are in San Diego. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon, and we're gonna make yeah. improv mojitos. Yes. So we start with our basic muddling tool, the hammer. Now, do you use the top part of the hammer or the bottom? Well, I prefer to use the bottom, Casey. Why is that? <laughs> well, the wooden, uh, you know, the wooden texture mushes up the mint a little bit better. It's like natural. The hammer. <laughs> All right. So we have the hammer, and you've already taken the mint. Yes. And put it in here. Frozen mint. <laughs> Now, what did we do wrong with the mint? The mint went to the back of the fridge, so it's a little bit crispy and frozen right now. All right, but that could help cool the drink this down, maybe. It might help. This is gonna work. All right, and just quick side note, guac goes great with mojitos. That's perfect. All right, so muddle, muddle, muddle. Muddle, muddle, muddle. Is, is there like a, a motion you do when you muddle, or? This is it. Okay, you go, so go this clockwise, is it. up and down, <laughs> counterclockwise. All around, all around. All around yeah. Actually, it's working out. <laughs> We're just gonna get a close-up. Look at that. That's muddling. Ooh, that's great. Looks like some of the mint juice is getting out of the leaf. <laughs> These are gonna be extra flavorful. Actually, it smells. Can you smell that? <laughs> that smells get great. Whiff. All right, so that's part one. Huh. Right. We kicked it up a notch by adding lime. <laughs> get it in there. Mash it. Yeah. That was step two. Now we're on to step three. So now we're gonna add the alcohol in. We went with uh, the clear Bacardi. Did you drink most of that last night? That was this morning. We're gonna use the rest. All right. And about how much should you put in? This is a, a 4.25 liter bowl. I'm just going. Tell me when, tell me when. Let's just finish tell the bottle. <laughs> like, you're almost out, you might as well just <laughs> That's probably like two thirds of a liter of Every Bacardi. Drop. Yeah. Good job. Okay. That was step three. Forgot to move. Wait, I don't have any more limes. So it's okay that we don't have any more limes because we put limes in here. We squeeze the juice out. Keep in mind if you're cutting, don't cut off your thumb or your fingers. Nice solid cut is what we want. So one of the reasons why guac is complimented with this drink is because they both have lime, so they have common ingredients. See that? She's sharing the lime juice. Right. Now on to the next step. Wait, should I do like a double? A adding the club soda, we're gonna do the double pour. This is not. Just the, <laughs> see what happened there? We're sober, by the way. None on me. So what is that at the bottom? <laughs> so. Oh, oh, you got some mint. Oh, wow. The mint got a little soggy. It got frozen and soggy in the back. Yeah. It's about as fresh as it gets. You got the soil <laughs> on the table. <laughs> All right, let, let's I see that pour. Let's see that. It's going on YouTube. Yeah, let me I'll do both. Going on YouTube. Here, you want to do? Is this like your own recipe? This is nothing I've done. All right, so this is, this is what we call a teamwork pour. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Set. Are we Snapchatting this? Water and yeah. Whatever we Go. Have All of it? Yeah. Look at that. Brandon won. Oh, yeah. In the kitchen, and mix it. the next step is to mix it together and enjoy. Okay, 